Hello students, welcome to the course on mechanical vibrations and we were discussing the concepts from unit number 2 related to free vibrations and viscous damping. So in the lesson number 8, we will be discussing about the numericals onto the free vibrations with viscous damping. So let us see different numericals which are given in the case of free vibrations with viscous damping. So the first numerical is written as a mass of 1 kg is supported on a spring having stiffness of 9800 Newton meter. So the mass is 1 kg. The spring stiffness is 9800 Newton per meter. The damping coefficient C is 5.9 Newton second per meter. And it has been asked to determine the natural frequency of the system. Also, the logarithmic decrement delta and the amplitude after three cycles so x3 they want to be found out if the initial amplitude x0 has been given as 0.3 centimeters so let us try to solve this numerical. So, first of all, we know the equation for natural frequency which is under root of k by m. So, under root of k value is 9800 upon mass is 1 kg. So, if we are doing the math, we are getting this under root of 9800 as 98.0. 99 and the unit for this will be radians per second. Then we also know the value of C which is 5.9 Newton second per meter. Now to get the value of zeta, which is damping factor and C by CC, C is with us. We need to find out the value of CC. So, CC can be written as 2m omega n. So, 2 into 1 into omega n we have just now found out as 98.99 and if you are seeing this, we will get the value of CC as 197.98 and the unit will be Newton second per meter. So, from this we can get the value of zeta as C by CC. So, C is 5.9 divided by CC is 197.98. So, we can get this as 0 0.029 and which is 2 lesser than 1, which makes this system as under dam system. So, this we have already discussed during the theory discussions of free vibrations with viscous damping. Now, for viscous damping systems, we are also having uh, a natural frequency which is damped frequency. So, let me erase uh, the things what have been written here. So, the damped frequency omega d is written as under root of 1 minus zeta square into omega n. So, 1 minus 0 0.029 which is zeta into omega n is 98.99. So, we will get this as 
98.94 radians per second. From this, we can get the value of delta also, which is 2 pi zeta upon under root of 1 minus zeta square. So, if you are doing the math of it, we will get the zeta as 0 0.1822. And this delta is also equal to 1 upon n into log to the base e x0 upon xn. So, in this case, n is 3 log to the base e x0 is 0.3 and x3 we want to find out. So, from this x3 we are getting it as 0.17 centimeter. So, this is how we can get the value of amplitude after 3 cycles. Let us see another numerical based upon 3 vibrations with viscous damping. So, the numerical statement goes like this. A vibratory system consists of mass, magnitude as 50 kg. The spring stiffness is K 25,000 Newton per meter and it is having a viscous damper. The damping coefficient provided is 25% of the critical value. So, we are having C as 0.25% of CC. So, from this, we can get the value of G by G as C by CC, which is 0.25. Now, So now, uh, and it has been asked to find out the ratio of successive amplitudes. So that is, so now it has been asked to find out the ratio of successive amplitudes, x1 by x2. So to get the x1 by x2, we need to have the value of delta because delta is equal to 1 by n log to the base e x1 by x2. We can consider n as 1. So, it becomes x0 by x1. So, for this we need to find out first delta. So, for the value of delta we need to find out the value of delta can be found out by the equation 2 pi zeta upon 1 minus zeta squared. So, this is 2 pi into zeta is 0 0.25 upon under root of 1 minus 0.25 squared. So, for solving this, we can get 0 0.25 into 0 0.25 squared at 0 0.0625 and if you are doing minus of it, it becomes 0 0.9375 and if you are taking the root of it, it becomes 0 0.9682 and the numerator is 2 into pi into 0 0.25 it becomes 1.5707. So, if we are solving this, we will get the value of delta as 1.62. And if we need to find out x1 by x2, we have to take the exponential of delta. And if we are doing that, we will get E raised to 1.62, you are getting the value of amplitude ratio of successive amplitudes as 5.053. This is the
This is another type of numerical wherein it has been asked to find out the ratio of amplitudes from the logarithmic decrement. So let us see another example which will be comprising of different terms to be calculated. So the numerical statement goes like this. A vibratory system is defined by the following parameters and it has been asked to find out the damping factor, the natural frequency of damped vibrations, logarithmic decrement, ratio of two successive amplitudes and number of cycles after which the original amplitude is reduced to 20%. So let us go one by one. So the parameters given our mass is equal to 3 kg, stiffness is equal to 100 Newton per meter and the damping coefficient C is 3 Newton second per meter. Now, first of all, we need to find out the value of zeta. So, zeta can be written as C by CC. The C value is 3 and CC we can write it as 2 and 2 k. 3 upon 2 into under root 100 into 3. So, if we are doing the math, we are getting the zeta value as 0 0.086, so which is 2 lesser than 1. What it means is this is a case of under damp system. Now, the second parameter which we need to find out is omega d. So omega d can be given as under root of 1 minus g square into omega n. So 1 minus 0 0.086 square into omega n can be written as k by m. So 1 minus 0 0.086 square which is under root into k it's 100 upon mass is 3. So, if we are solving this, we are getting omega d as 5.75 radians per second. The third parameter what we need to find out is the delta. Delta is 2 pi theta upon under root 1 minus theta square. So, 2 pi into 0 0.086 divided by under root of 1 minus 0 0.086 square. If we are solving this, we we'll get the delta value as 0 0.542. The next parameter what we need to find out is the ratio of two successive amplitudes. So just remember the value of delta as 0 0.542, which is needed. Let me erase the things. So, to get the ratio of two successive amplitudes, x0 by x1, so we have to get the value of successive amplitude ratio as e raised to delta. So, if you are doing that e raised to 0 0.542, we get the value as 1.72. And the last thing what they have asked is the number what is the number of cycles after which the original amplitude is reduced to 20%. So for that again we need to e x0 upon x. So they have asked to find out the value of n. So we can modify this equation as they have given that what is the number of cycle after which the original amplitude is reduced to 20%. So, you can modify this equation as 1 by n log to the base e. The original amplitude is x0 and if the original amplitude is reduced to 20% means if you are assuming x0 as 100, your amplitude which is going to get 20%, reduced to 20% will be x0 by 5. So that's why here we can substitute as x0 by 5. So we knew, knew the delta, delta value as 0.542. 1 by n we need to find out. This becomes log to the base e 
of type log to the base of e five. So from this we can get the n value as two point nine six. So approximately after three cycles the original amplitude is going to reduce to twenty percent. So the next numerical is to be treated as homework and statement of the problem goes like this. A body of mass 5 kg is supported on a spring stiffness of 1960 Newton per meter and has a dash pod connected to it which produces a resistant band of 1.96 Newton at a velocity of 1 meter per second. In what ratio will the amplitude of vibration be reduced after 5 seconds? So students can pause for this. Students can pause for some time and try to think what are the things which are given and how we can solve the problem. Yes, the procedure how the students can solve this problem so the mass is given as 5 kg the spring stiffness is given as 1960 Newton per meter and then they have given that which produces a resistance band of 1.96 Newton at a velocity of 1 meter per second what is that force? Force is nothing but damping coefficient into velocity x dot. So the force is 1.96 damping coefficient we need to find out and the velocity is 1 meter per second. So from this C we can get it as 1.96 Newton second per meter. So you need to find out the value of zeta first which is c by cc so c is with us for to get the value of cc you need to use the equation 2 under root km then you need to find out delta which is 2 by zeta under root of 1 minus zeta square and you need to find out in what ratio the amplitude of vibration be reduced after 5 cycles. So you need to find out delta is equal to 1 by n log to the base e x0 upon x n wherein n is 5 in this case. So you need to find out the value of x n after which we are the amplitude of original amplitude gets reduced to what amount. So with this, we'll stop here. Try to solve this numerical on your own. Thank you.